These one-pound combat robots or battle bots will fight to absolute destruction in this action-packed video compilation of the best ones available to see. Brought to you by 3D Power Prints. This first fight is a vertical spinner versus a lifter. <laughs> That was a great fight, and this next one is between a horizontal and an undercutter. Modest destruction in that fight, and there's even more in this one, so stay tuned. It's a, a finger center, fidget center top, very deadly. Push, push and wheel into it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. The drum spinner took the win on this fight, but after this fight, there's another drum spinner versus a horizontal, which ends quite differently from the last. All right. As uh, Bill Dwyer would say, this is classic, a horizontal spinner versus a vertical spinner. And it's certainly looking to be a classic oh. fight. Ooh, sending Phantom Assault back. In fact, so far back, it looks like mm, one of his uh, little pins there holding the weapon in. Looks like it's about to come out. Phantom Assault is slowly but surely creeping forward and is currently in a position where he can't move. Two, one, fight. Two minutes on the clock. Unlike a rumble, judges will decide the outcome if it happens to go for the full two minutes. As both robots tossing each other slightly. Drum versus disc. It'll be a matter of who drives better and who gets more grip as Phantom Fire is now upside down. Trying to self right, trying to gyro. Or what are you assisting there and then flipping it right back over? You're giving a chance. Trying not to let him get the opportunity and actually taking advantage of the fact that he's trying to do that. Getting another nice hit. 30 seconds gone by. In this fight, Robo Iron Age getting a nasty hit on his front. And then paying it back in guy. Santa Fire stuck upside down, his wheels not making very much contact. Robo Iron Age trying to catch up to him. And gets him into the pit. Let's see if he's able to drive her out. Spent some Robo Iron Age. Okay. Under a minute remaining. Did that in under, cleanly under 10 seconds. And Rebel Iron, he was standing there waiting for him to, to do that. He gets back up and keeps on going. Now he ends up almost in the pit, but his back little self-writing thing is loose. 36 seconds remaining. As these robots go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Verbal Iron Age going for a ride. 24 seconds remaining. And some player up to them again and able to rest himself right and gets immediately back there. 15 seconds. Back in the pit. Back out of the pit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And this one will be going to the judges. The yellow robot won via judge's decision, and this next fight is one of my favorites just because of the ending. I hope you like it. We go two minute fights. There is a pit. This is horizontal versus horizontal. Phantom Assault with the big black wheels. 
Battle Blaster, one that you can't even see. Looks like a ball, but it does have knockers, so that's why they're bouncing around off each other. And Battle Blaster bounces off two balls. Let's see if he can go for three. And that's the problem with these horizontal. Sometimes they hit something in like physics. Evil opposite reactions. You hit this way, you're gonna go that way. As both robots make contact and go flying, there goes Battle Blaster going across the arena. Fans of Assault not necessarily spinning right now, but still going after Battle Blaster fairly well. Only 40 seconds gone in this fight. It will be a two minute fight, after which point, if both robots are still operating, it will go to the judges to make a decision based on damage, aggression, and control. And Battle Blaster is now on his side. Lost the first fight because it landed upside down and was not able to sell right. 30 seconds left in the fight. Out of six, five, four, three, two, one, and this fight will be going to the judges.